and they literally make the food while you're right there. So KFC, you my friend are on the blacklist. It's DDK and I'm here today with another DoorDash video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, I appreciate you. I just need you to comment below and let me know if you like the new content. Also, give me a thumbs up. Today is November 20th. It's a Saturday. This morning, I guess it's furying over from last night. We had a few bad orders that were not so bad, so we didn't, so not so good, so we didn't take them. Now we have a Jewel Osco order that we just got in. It's for 5.9 miles for $7.25. That's not that great of an order, but it is a, over a dollar, a dollar a, a mile. So we're going to take it and we're going to see what happens. So I'll see you guys when we get to Jewel. This is Jewel action, baby. Get us the cart. We don't know how big it's going to be. I'm here to uh, pick up an order for Rebecca. Oh, is it uh, Dowling? Rebecca W.I. I mean, Z.I. Z.I. Rebecca Z.I. Yeah, they don't tell me the full last name. They just don't tell me Rebecca Z.I. So I'm guessing that will be it. So on your side, does it tell you my name or no? Oh, uh, no. Okay. So I guess that's it, huh? Got them 11 dollars. Them Jordan 11 dollars. 11, They tricked me pretty good, huh? They said it was gonna be one item and now I got... <laughs> that's how they do it all the time. Nope. It just says we're like one item. Or sometimes it, it, it even says we don't know exactly what the items are and they just don't tell you. Oh. So we don't know. Yeah, it happens. This should be everything in. This port by the front door. Remember, don't step in grass. I know it's shorter, but they ain't gonna be sure when you get to clean that dude's your foot. So. These are the bad orders I've been talking about. Look. Six dollars and fifty cents for twelve point four miles. Are you after? Finally got an okay one. Denny's six dollars and seventy five cents for three miles. We got to take that. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Didn't know. Your dash for Dina. Who? Dina. What's your name? Brian. Dina. D-I-N-A. Brian? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Dina. D-I-N-A. <laughs> Dude, please. Can I get a little Brian, I'm gonna fuck you, Brian. Bro. Do not put the food right in front of the door. Please don't. Please use your head. Don't put it in front of the door. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. $3.50 for 8.3 miles. I don't even I don't even understand what's going on right now. I don't know if people are trying to I, we've been getting bad orders all morning. I don't know if they're trying to save for Christmas. I don't know what's going on, but it's terrible. 
Another one, White Castle, 9.3 miles for eight dollars. It's not even a dollar a mile. Not gonna happen. The, order has, the orders have been so terrible that we have to change location. We have to change location because they've, they've been so bad. It's been like, it's been like last night. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it, there's more dashers. I don't know if my acceptance rate's too low. I don't know what's going on, but I do know that if it continues to do this, it's gonna be over for the day. You know, we, we do no days off, but sometimes you have to know when to fold them and know when to hold them. But we'll see you guys when we get to the new location. Hopefully something changes and we get some better deals or something, because I don't know, but it's been kind of critical. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Okay, we're in a different location now. That money's starting to talk, baby. 675 for 1.8 miles. Of course we got to take that. But I do know this place is always packed. In 1, and it's kind feet, of a critical way where you got to park right. at. So we'll see when we get there. Hello. Okay, thank you. Robert M. See, with the permit, sometimes it says leave on my door, but it's like, do you want us to stay down here or by the door, door? Hey, how's it going, Robert? How are you? I'm fine, I can't complain. Here you go. Thank you. All right, thank you, have a great day. Got us another one, baby. 525 for 1.8 miles. Take the next. said leave about a mailbox so Arrived. stop talking to me lady picture here we go so we got another jewel order added to the Doug room it's called the jug the Doug room we're gonna go pick up the order again so see you guys we'll get inside so this one actually is going to contain some alcohol so you're gonna give them we have to give them our ID to get the alcohol and then you have to make sure you, they show you show you their ID. You cannot give it to any kids, you cannot give it to anyone else but them. So we have to take a class on that. They about to get tea. I wonder if y'all can see that they got they popping big bottles. I ain't even never seen this stuff before. So they about to go crazy. Excuse me, is this where you picked the DoorDash delivery for? Yeah, what's the name? Uh, Cindy A. Right here. Thank you. These are exclusive too. These, but did you guys see all those orders that was just sitting right there? That's the problem with apartments. Well, this condo's over here, but that's the problem with that because they probably couldn't get in, so they just had to leave it right there. Which that means it's just open to anybody just picking it up, so. Subway one, 2.7 miles for 575. Let's do it. Hello. 
Hello. I have a door door dash for Nicole S. Yes. Door dash for Nicole? Yes ma'am. Yes. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Nice. You too. Three. So I, I'm sorry that I did not have to go pro on. You guys just missed what happened. I went to go pick up the order. I get to sell. Wait, I go to the place I'm supposed to go to, right? I get in there. Mind you, it's a store. It's a big store. I go in there with this. See this? This is the DoorDash bag. I go in the store. It's cashiers on my right side. And it's a, it's a huge store, just so you guys know. Go in there. So I'm thinking like, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to take to because there's so many people in here. So I go over to the cashier because I'm about to ask them do they know who the person is, right? So I go over to the cashier. Then it's a lady who's coming in me with in front of me with a cart. So then the lady, the uh, cashier told her, "Yes, I can help you, man. Then I can help you, man. Mind you, she see me with the red bag. She saw me standing right next to the lady. She said, "I can help you, ma'am." I said, "Excuse me." She said, "Yes." I said, "Um, I'm I have a DoorDash order for so and so." And she said, "Oh, that's me." So. If I wouldn't have said, now, what was you going to do? Was you going to go bring this lady up or do whatever you're going to do and never say nothing? I don't even understand. Some people, I just want to say this. DoorDash is great. It's fun. You're going to have some good customers. You're going to have some bad customers. You're going to have some smart customers. You're going to have some not so bright customers. I don't understand why people just don't lose common sense. If you saw me coming here with this red bag, it has a big old D and it stands for DoorDash. You can see the bag from a mile away. And it's red, so you can't miss it. Saw me coming in with the bag. Why won't you say, oh, are you here for so-and-so? I don't, you was going to literally walk away and then not say nothing. I don't even understand. But I'm sorry that I didn't have a GoPro on, so you guys missed that. I also been tweaking with the GoPro a little bit. I messed up a few times. But let's get back to the video. Got this McDonald's order, baby, for the five. How much it is for? How much this one? 575, 525, five, something. But let's go get this thing. Walmart move. Three orders is like for twenty one dollars and no, it's like twenty seven dollars or something like that. We definitely got to take. It's been kind of slow around here. I mean, it's it's not that slow but it's a lot of traffic so what we're trying to do is get out the way right now so what we're going to do is go get this walmart order move around a little bit and then come back and we're still trying to hit that hundred dollars before two o'clock which i think is going to be possible it was kind of going a little slow earlier though but we're going to keep on moving and grooving and we'll see you guys when we get to walmart excuse me is this one supposed to pick up doordash yeah okay what is it uh, my name is jerome adams and it's Hold on. yeah Jerome. Okay. Hello. Jerome. Okay. So we thought you were outside because you guys don't have to come, come inside in anymore. Oh. And there was somebody else there, so we took it out, but you have it right here. Okay. What? Do you want to just what? Should out? I just go out this door? Because the car should be right here. No, you still have to go around, unfortunately. Okay. Sorry. I was gonna sneak through there, but you know. Yeah, you just park and we'll bring it out to your car now. Okay. Somebody else puts on that Keep waiting, but she has it ready already. Hello, here you go, sir. It's your Walmart delivery. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good day. Hello, how you doing, sir? Oh, this is your Walmart order? Right. Your Walmart order. You also have another package here, too. Right, I'm not sure you. what that is. Right. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Hello, I'm here with the DoorDash delivery from Walmart. On whose name? Um, the name is... Okay, I'll take it. You sure? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. 
So it is 1.47 p.m. and we made our goal. Congratulations, we had $101. We started around, what time did we start? 8.30 or 9? We started around 9.30, so 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. So four hours and 15 minutes, and we got a hundred dollars. Now, let's um, 2.9 miles for 6.75, we need that. Hello, how you doing? Um, I have a DoorDash order for Heather R. Heather R? Yeah, we'll get to it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. This one is dead. They talking about waiting 10 to 15 minutes. They out of pocket. Oh, not ready. We ain't doing that. We ain't got time. Time is money, baby. That's one. Ramsky. Kristen M. Jordan. I think we took some big boy houses. Considering taking it, but I'm not sure. So stay tuned. Hi. Hello, I have a DoorDash pickup for Ava D. Okay. Alrighty, thank have you. Day. Have a good day. Three miles for 6.75. Let's do it. What it's all about being able to bring your kids to work. That's what it's all about. You own this joint. Hello. Hello, Rico. Yes, ma'am. Kelsey S. Huh? Kelsey S. Kelsey S. Oh. Got the kid all over there. Hello. Living the dream. DoorDash from Mike K. Mike K. Everything should be inside. All right, you too. Over here. This is out of control. KFC. We won't talk about the blacklist when I get back to the car. Let's just talk about these blacklists. Because I need to you know, just lay it all on the line. I've been waiting here for like 10 minutes. And the reason why I didn't cancel the order is because we already have another order that's literally down the street from the order, from this KFC order. And it just makes more sense to just do both of them. So that's why I didn't cancel it, but it has been a terrible experience. So we had this KFC order. Now, we had, it was a double order. It was a Panera Bread order, then they added on the KFC order. So we're like, cool. The houses are literally like a few blocks away from each other. So we take the order, boom. Go get the Panera Bread, go to KFC. We go on KFC, and we literally were in there for 30 minutes. Now. I make these videos so you guys can learn from my mistakes. The only reason why we kept the order because it was so close and it was like 625, but it probably would have made sense for us to cancel the order. But the one thing I dislike about DoorDash is that you have an acceptance rate. So if I was to cancel the order, it would bring my acceptance rate down. And once you get to a certain acceptance rate, like once you get lower than a certain amount, they will kick you off DoorDash. So a lot of times some stuff don't just, it don't be our fault. It'd be the merchants for it'd be the you know the restaurants and everything so that's going to bring me into the segment of the blacklist now 
we're already going to start off who's on the blacklist. The first one who just entered into the blacklist is KFC. Now, when I say the blacklist and I say KFC, this means every KFC. This doesn't mean this KFC here over here or that KFC over here. Because I've noticed they have a pattern of KFC. They are always understaffed. Always. It's only really like only three people in there. Every KFC I ever go to is only like three people in there. It's the cashier and he halfway, halfway in and out. He's not really there sometimes and then he go back there. And they literally make the food while you're right there. So KFC, you my friend are on the blacklist. Now, the next thing is I'm going to put all fast food restaurants past 8 p.m. on the blacklist. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is what? All fast food, they have drive-throughs. If you have a drive-through and it's past 8 p.m., you're on the blacklist because most of the time, the diner is closed, which means you have to sit in line and wait for people, and it's usually a long line. So, you, my friend, are on the blacklist. The next person on the blacklist, you made this blacklist the other day. Wingstop, you are on the blacklist. Every time I come in there, it takes y'all too long. Every time. And this, and this, again, they, it's a pattern. Every wing stop I go to, it's the same issue. They never had a food ready. It always three, three, they always say three more minutes and take them like seven more minutes. So, you, my friend, are on the blacklist. Oh, the wing stop in North Chicago, you good. But don't slip up. I mean, anybody can be on the blacklist. I, you know, I ain't discriminating. Anybody can get on there. You know, if you ain't got things right, if you ain't got things situated, you can be on the blacklist. So, that, those are a few that, oh, one more, one more, well, con, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot, I knew it was someone, Tilly's in Gurney, Illinois, you are on the blacklist, my friend, you are on the blacklist, now, when I say on the blacklist, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't eat at these places, now, Chili's, I'm not eating there, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm telling you straight up right now, Tilly's in Gurney, I'm not eating there, y'all, I mean, I'm not eating there, but, that doesn't mean I wouldn't eat at Wings Top. That doesn't mean I wouldn't eat at, you know, KFC and all these other places. I just would not pick up orders from you because you take too long. So, those are the people that's on the blacklist for now. And if I come up with some more, I'm going to click this camera back on and let you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is now, well, let me click back on. I'm going to count and see how much we got. And I'm going to turn this thing back on for you. Back to the blacklist. Before I tell you how much how much we uh total we have we kind of did pretty pretty freaking bad today i just want to say that we're on our way back to gurney so hopefully we can pick up some but it's this is we got the load man we got the load i don't know what's going on with doordash we don't need to get together but back to the blacklist on the blacklist i forgot to add the buffalo wild wings and gurney you guys take way too long i don't even understand take way too long and portillo you want to verb you want to use you skating on the thin line now you might want to had them orders ready but i noticed the portillos and gurney that it's only when certain workers are working there that it seems to be some problems so i you know, probably need to get a new staff you know and all that so but our total as of right now is only 163 dollars and 44 cent which is terrible it's 8 26 p.m and if we get back to Gurney and it's going storm, it's going to go ahead and go home. I ain't going to play no games today. It's Saturday. I'm trying to chill, relax. We got to get back up and get back to it tomorrow. So I click back on the camera when we get to Gurney and we see what happened. And if nothing has happened, we close out the video. We get into it. Six, I mean, 2.2 .2 miles for 625. Let's make it happen, baby. So we made it here to Gurney, Illinois. We had a couple orders. We had a couple McDonald's orders for like 525. And then we had one more order from somewhere else. I can't remember where it was. But they won very big payout. So we ended up tonight with 181.33. We didn't hit the 200 mark. We didn't hit the 250 mark. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we could try to hit it tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. But we'll see what happens. I don't know what's door that seemed like they tripping a little bit. Or there's more dashers. I really don't know. I can't call it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment below and let me know if you like the videos. Give me a thumbs up, talk to your family, tell them to subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to new subscribers too. 
Tell your friends, tell their friends, tell their friends, tell their mama, sister, uncle, brother, sister, cousin. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. The DDK, and I'm on my way.